Welcome to my small Animoto video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add a voiceover to your video. Um, I just uploaded this little video right here, and I can see it's only 10 seconds long, but that's not right. It should be longer than that. So I'm going to click on the attributes here, and I'm going to see, oh, it's only playing a little segment of the video. So I'm going to make this a bit longer, because I want it to play the entire video. Now, I know there's sound already here, so I'm just going to turn that sound off, because I don't want it to play. Uh, get rid of that little pod to the end, because that's not right. And I can't do that, so I'm going to be there forever. But I'm going to make it about... Let's make it about a minute long, Bob. Please full video. I'm gonna save that. Let's see what happens now. If I play this, there should be no music, but I should have my video. Let's see if that's what happens. Ah, what it's doing is taking the theme that I've chosen, and from that theme is taking the, the audio, which is right here. So I'm going to change that to my actual song that I want to use for this video. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to go Upload Songs, and I'm going to choose the song that I've pre-created for this little tutorial, which is a song called Prayer and Sea, and I've actually made it a little bit quieter so that it doesn't drown out the rest of the uh, the, the voiceover. So I'm going to upload that song. It's going to take a couple of seconds here, and... Uh, then we will put that on top of our video and we're going to render our video and then we're going to add a voiceover afterwards. Sadly in Animoto we can't add music and then add another layer of a voiceover on top, but other applications like iMovie will do that for you. All right, let me give this a title. I'm just going to call it C. So let's preview this and see what we get. As you can see, the song is not too loud in the background because I reduced the volume of the sound that was imported. Uh, I have the background of the theme showing and I have my video playing in the middle. Exactly what I want it to look like. So we're going to continue editing now. And we're going to click on produce. I could have actually produced it before. We're going to produce it and we're going to call it example. Oops. Voice over. And I'm going to finish this video because I'm going to add the voiceover to a finished downloaded video. So I'm going to download this now. But um, this will take a couple seconds. And through the magic of television, we're going to fast forward in time. All right, I've chosen Retro Wheel. I'm not sure why, but I did. So we take the video that we just created and we drop it onto Animoto. Dunk. This will take a couple seconds to upload. Remember, if you're doing this on a Chromebook, you need to save it to your Google Drive. Now, as you can see, it's already chosen the theme song up here, which is called Change Song. Very good name for a song. I'm going to change that song title right away. Um, and it's given me 10 seconds of my video, which I know is longer. So I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to go over here. As you can see, there's my little video. I guess the only drawback of this is that you're putting a theme in a theme. So you have the entire video that's playing within a theme in a theme. It's kind of Silly, but that does still do the trick. So we're going to save it now that I have the full length of the video. I'm going to click on my change song title here, and I'm going to upload the song that I want to use, which is Prayer in C. No, it's not. It's my voice track, which is right there. I'm going to upload my voice track. Now, I've had to actually increase the volume of my voice track. To do so, I used um, Adobe Audion, but you can also use any other software online that will let you increase the volume of your voice. Song title, we're going to call it voice. Something simple, remember, not void, voice. There we go. And we're going to save that. I'm 
it does say it's called voice that should be right so i know my voice track is about one minute two seconds long that may pose a problem with the video uh because the video is too long for that so we might have to trim our video down to match the voice track so if i bring this little slider down a little bit here it's one minute and two seconds i gotta bring this down to very close to that amount of time so i'm moving down to one minute now you would want to make sure that your audio track is the same length as your video. I'm taking two different, two totally different videos here and putting them together. Oops, still not quite right. Let's, let's change this. Boom. Oh, what's going on here? So I've added two little images here, one before, one after, because it uh, didn't want to let me enter the video because it didn't match the length of the song. So I have simply added one before and after, and then it allowed me to enter the video with these settings. So let's take a look and see what we have here in our preview. So we should have our video playing with the silent clip in the background, with the new voiceover playing over top of that. So let's see what it looks like. Are you fed up with trying to find that perfect special gift for that special someone? The Gift Frog Network is proud to present a mystery box? Giftfrog.com, the newest and fastest growing online gift shop featuring Easy Gift. All right, that's all that's to it. You've now successfully added your first voiceover with Onomato. I hope you had some fun, and I hope you had fun with this project, and I uh, look forward to seeing your videos in class tomorrow. Are you fed up with trying to find that perfect gift for someone important to you? The Gift Frog Network is proud to present a mystery, a mystery box. box? <laughs> Giftfrog.com, the newest and fastest growing online gift store featuring Easy Gift. Best gift ideas, personalization, stunning bouquets, exclusive keepsakes, and uncompromising quality. Visit us today. Gift Frog. Gift-Frog.com